Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, back here at the Murabi Dry Dogs with Broken Mountain to continue our warrior quest. He's gone. My brother is gone. I spoke with Vinzon and his men claimed to have seen a man fitting brother's description boarding a ship heading to the far east. The love struck fool, no doubt he's run off to find Dogona. In his weakened state, there's no telling what misfortune may find him there. Would that I could go and search for him, but I cannot leave my post here in Limsa. It shames me to ask more of you, but do you think it possible you could go find him? I can, and I will. Bless you, Serenia. If he's searching for Dogono, then he's making for Verzim's steppe. If her plains are as vast as she claimed, you would do well to find the closest settlement and begin your search there. If the gods are kind, someone will have seen him. Safe travel, Serenia. I pray he caused no more trouble than he already has. Okay, yes, that would be reunion, right? Okay, we, let's ask about him. A burly, red-faced Ruggedan. Yes, I remember. He was after the Carol clan, but we haven't lived here in ages. A large man with an axe. You have any idea how many brutes with axes come stomping through these parts? Ah, that unruly fellow in search of a Carol clan. If he took my advice, he's headed with due west to search for the settlement. Or what's left of it. West. Over there. Going the distance. God, you idiot! <laughs> For a weasel, that thing is huge. But okay, not the first creature that is oversized by a few dozen sizes. Still alive? Thank you, kind stranger. Had you not arrived, I would have. So, when yeah? What? What are you doing here? Can wait. Dogona's people are under attack. Come, we have to help them. Nothing. Serenia, you've come. Hope is not yet lost, but I failed to see why it chose to bring the worm. Worm? Why you... <coughs> Could you just tell us what happened here? The Quarrel settlement was attacked, but I was too late. This is all there is to be seen when I arrived. You needn't worry, though. They escaped. I managed to track them back to a union. Upon finding them, however, I was greeted with looks of fear and disgust. They would only suffer me long enough to explain the will of Karashis to blame for their role. The exiles of, of Karel have created a clan of their own, the Shagan. They offered me shelter when I first was first cast out. If the Karel see the will of Karash as a source of wreck and ruin, the Shagan praise it as a blessing from the Dusk Mother. They commit all manner of heinous acts when Karash ta takes hold. Some would even slay their own kin and 
claim it was in the name of mother. I could not abide the savagery and soon left. Still, my people must take me for one of a Shagan now. After all that work, all that training, they would deny me. But I cannot give up. I will avenge my people and earn their trust. Your opponents are warriors who freely indulge in their inner beast. You do not stand a chance alone. I will help you. I do not need your aid, worm. You would only get in my way with your wiggling and writhing. Serenia has proven X on the other and would be welcome. What say you? Of course I will. Thank you. Your presence alone is worth a hundred warriors. I am with me. At your side, there's another hundred at your disposal. Dealing with a Chagan should be a child's play. <coughs> Do as you like. I only ask you don't slow us down. For now, we turn to reunion and rest. The Chagan have grown careless and should prove easy for me to track. When time comes, I expect you to be ready, Curious Gorge. I mean, right, you can count on me. I should not be long, Serenia. Soon we'll put an end to their madness. That woman is insufferable. She's arrogant, rude, pig-headed. <sighs> and she's finally called me by name. Um, she's also right. Battle against the Chagan would be folly in my present condition. Let us return to reunion. Serenia, let me speak plain. Why exactly are you here? Brother worries about me, does he? It seems I made good company of trouble in recent times. Ever since I was bested by Dorgona at the pier, everything has gone wrong. My inner beast remains dormant and my ability to fight along with it. There are moments when my blood quickens and I dared to hope that the inner beast would awaken, only to find myself wrecked by visions of Dorgona and the, my strength abandoning me. I know not what's going on inside of me, I know not how to conquer it. I knew only that I had to follow Dorgono. What in heaven's name is wrong with me? I think you're in love. Love? I was hoping you'd offer me counsel, not cruel jests. In any case, my problem is my burden. It will not be solved by thrusting it upon another. And if I'm a I am to be ready for a battle, it must be solved quickly. I won't keep you any longer, Serenia. Do what you must to prepare, and I shall do the same. Not bad. So, I guess this is an... This is an upgrade to Berserk, right? Yeah. Your timing is impeccable as always. I have a task well suited to a woman of your many talents. Aside from my training, I've taken to working with a merchant here in Reunion. My most recent venture being the delivery of horses. I've asked, I was asked to take a pair of horses up north today, but I'd feel at ease knowing there was a rider in both saddles. Speak with a springly fellow over there, and he'll see that you're fit to ride. Make for Morley Low, and I'll meet you there. Mirthful Merchant. Ha! Curious God didn't mention someone would be coming to help. Yes, yes, your horse is right over here. Safe travels, friend. There's Curious Gorge. Ah, oh, my horse. Thank you so much. I don't know where I'd be without you adventurers. Is the other burly looking fellow over there with you? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> there you are. Was this not invigorating? The feeling of fresh air on your face, the wind blowing through your hair. The raft of a strength to fight, I've been given much time to drink in the beauty of these lands. Much time to think. Since I was old enough to hold an axe, the path of a warrior is all I've ever known. The pursuit of e ever greater strength for my only purpose. I realize now how narrow my view of the world was. I was convinced my defeat at the Wolf's Den Pier was the reason Dorgono had been constantly in my mind, and my wounded pride served only to further cloud my judgment. But I can see clearly now, the clouds are gone. I finally understand why Dorgono has vexed me so. I love her, Serenian. From the moment I laid eyes on her, she had home ganged my heart. Overwhelmed with his feelings, it is, it's little wonder she trounced me so at the Wolf's Den Pier. But I'm once more master of my emotions. Already I can feel my inner beast has reawakened. If I'm to regain my full strength, there's only one thing left to do. Profess my love to Dogono, and in the doing, rid myself of any lingering doubt that may still inhibit my inner beast. Let us return to town. Hopefully there's enough time before she has arrived to think of what to say. I thank goodness you're here. <laughs> what took you so long? Every time I look into those powder blue eyes of hers, I lose all train of thought. Now that you're here, perhaps I can muster the courage to um. <coughs> the Gono, I, I, I. What's wrong with you? <coughs> There's no time for your drivel. The Shagan mean to strike again. I have always been prone to violence, but I fear the recent attack on the Quirrell has given them a taste for pillaging. They mean to attack Molly Law next. Quickly, we must stop them if I can reach, reach town. Damn it all. Again I was distracted by the quiver of her come hither lips. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but love proves to be more terrifying than any foe. This fear it must be struck out of me. Literally. I want you to slap me as hard as you can. Crack your battle-hardened palm across my face. Uh, once again with a slaps, huh? God damn it, that's smart. Any harder my heart might have stopped altogether. But the fear that once gripped my heart is no more. Come, Serenia. Dogono must know of my love for her. I will shout it from the mountaintops if I have to. Okay, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> this will not be easy. With my level 60 equipment. The Chagan is close by. Overcoming their forces will no be no easy task. But we must be especially careful of their leader, Nagai Nayaga. He is able to wield the power of Karash to its fullest. When he taps into that strength, he is nigh unbeatable. With our combined might, we may have a chance. Speaking of which, Curious Gorge, are you well enough to fight? Better I'm unwell, for I'm in love with you. I love you, Dog Dogono. I love you. What are you doing? You witless rub, keep your voice down! <sighs> your bellowing has given us away. What have you here, Dogono? You have some nerve showing your face here. If you value your life, you will crawl back to whatever hole you came out of. Never. What you have done to the Karel, your own people, is unforgivable. I will not allow, allow you to bring such ruin to others. I was too weak before, but thanks to these warriors, the power of Karash is now at my beck and call. I have the strength to put an end to you. What we do, we do in the name of a Dusk Mother. If you would give by her will, there is only one punishment fit for such heresy. O oh, Nama, goddess of a dusk, hear me. 
Grant us with strength to smite our enemies for our glorious for one glorious moment. Let this blood spilled here slake our your unquenchable thirst. Serenia, curious gorge, prepare yourself. Leave it to me, my sweet vixen. I will show them what it truly means to unleash one's inner beast. I will make you pay what, what you've done to the Karel. It's time you learned your place. Now, my goddess of the dusk, grant me strength to do what your bidding to nourish your soil with her life and her life blood. No. Second form? What's this? It's repelling our attacks. The power of Karash to rent a blow against now is nigh impossible. This the limit of your power? Pathetic, huh? Is there nothing we can do? The answer lies with Karash. If I can harness all my strength into a single strike. So, and yet, keep his attention. Never felt so alive. Could be this be the power of love? <laughs> For you, maybe. Oh no, mammoth. More mammoths, you cannot allow him to disrupt formation. What these people all can do? Summoning mammoths? What? Stupid NPC powers. Ah. A 
strength. No, this cannot be happening. We've breached the fences. We must strike now before he can recover. Leave it to me, my dear. Guys, we can do it. We've done it. So when yeah, we've done it. We did it! The shotgun has been brought to heal. Perhaps now I can finally return home. It was quite a display, Curious Gorge. The worm has at last shown himself a warrior. Oh, come on. Gorge, benimm dich. Behave. Curious Gorge? It's over. We have won. You needn't prove yourself to me any longer. You've always been so strong. So caring. I know I was mean to you before, but in truth I... I... I love you, Curious Gorge. <laughs> A critical hit. <laughs> Worked. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That smile. And that head check, of course. Forgive me. For only a... For only for a moment, it seemed my inner beast got the better of me. Again. So what if it did? The Shagan have been defeated and I owe it all to the two of you. When the Karel hear of this, they will show... We are sure to welcome me back with open arms. I will share with him all I've learned of controlling the will of Karash. And I would do it with you. Come away with me, Curious Gorge, and together we can start anew with a Crowell. Hmm. How long have I waited to hear those words? <sighs> Yet, sadly, I must decline. While it's true we defeated the Chagan, I cannot dismiss with the fact that I succumbed to my inner beast. If I had turned on you when you needed me most, I could never forgive myself. A man who lacks such self-discipline is undeserving of a wonderful woman such as you. I must continue training to master my inner beast and become the realm's greatest, well, second greatest warriors. When that day comes, I will find you. Second? Surely you mean third. Beyond of being the sum's gre second greatest warrior is mine. The doubt you will ever surpass me. Ah, I'll just wait and see. I whip those horns of that pretty little head of yours and... <laughs> <laughs> well, you can certainly try. I will gladly tr 
fight to keep my title and can think of no better challenger. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye. I can scarcely believe you ever came but monster Nayaga on your own. The title of the realm's greatest warrior is rightfully yours, but never forget. Should you slack for even a moment, I'll be ready to take it from you. Well, I suppose after today's exertion, we both earned a moment's respite. Let's return home. I yearn for the, sh for the shores of Limsa, and my brother is no doubt sick with worry besides. Okay. <laughs> that was sweet. Come, Limsa. I've caused you, my brother, nothing but grief. I mean to apologize, but I fear you will not like what I have to say. It glands me to see you both returned hale and whole. Once more, my brother's inner beast burns fiercely within him. From what, I, from what he told me, Dorgono has at last been reunited with her people. Our ventures in the east were not without trouble, though. Much of which could have been avoided, if not for my failings. I know you wish for me to resume leading the Maelstrom Warriors, brother, but I am unworthy for a role. I must still, I'm still in need of training, and that is why I would dedicate myself to, on, to owning my skills, that I might someday be worthy of a position again. I suspected you might say as much. Very well then, if you truly believe this, f this is best, I will not stop you. Find your own path. When you're ready, I'm sure I, it will lead back to us w someday. Thank you, Bevan. I must be off to Hidden Falls. There's much to do if I'm ever to be a match of Serenia or Dorgono. I sometimes wonder if he ever will ever be satisfied. Though I confess I admire his fervor. You have inspired him to reach new heights, and I have every confidence he will emerge from his training a new man. Nevertheless, I hope we may l look to you for aid should we find ourselves on hard times. You is scorch the play of passion to rouse your inner beast into action. This concludes the warrior quest for Stormblood. In order to undertake the next thing, must first follow requirements. Shadowbringers, finished Shadowbringers, we have completed world quest to have loved and lost. Once you've done so, the next warrior quest will be available from Curious Scorch. I am the warrior free. Okay, that looks pretty awesome. And it of course means that you can use stuff like Fell Caliph with on and un upheaval without spending Gaichi down here. And there's the equipment left. Hmm. I don't know. I like the 60 bed. 60 more. Axe looks a bit weird, but okay, it looks <laughs> cool, but weird. You think that you hit someone with it, and then that spike here breaks off and pierces you yourself. 
you know? <laughs> eh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Until next time, I'm Mace and don't get lost. <laughs>